church. Let us bless the name of our God this morning, for he is great and greatly to be praised. So let's lift up this offering unto him as a pleasing aroma.
Hey family, welcome to church this morning. It is such an honor and a blessing that you could take the time out of your day to spend in worship with us. I know it's Super Bowl Sunday, but before we watch the game, let's make sure we get our spiritual feeding in and, and spend some time worshiping God. So we're grateful that you could stop by and tune in uh, to what God is doing through our church. And I just have a couple of things before we get into worship service this morning. First, if you would like to share this worship service with somebody, we give you the opportunity. You have free reign to be able to do so. We really appreciate those of you who have done so. It really goes a long way and somebody could encounter the gospel of Jesus Christ by way of you pressing a button. So um, if you could please share this worship service with somebody that you know or text a friend, let them know that we are having church. Also, um, 
This Sunday is the first Sunday of the month of February, which means every first Sunday of the month is our communion service. So that if you could have the elements of communion ready to uh, partake in communion with us, we would really appreciate you doing so. Um, so whether you have bread or crackers or some kind of beverage as well so that we can commemorate the blood and body of Jesus Christ and the sacrifice that he made for us by way of his death but also we celebrate the triumph of his resurrection so um, it's an important Sunday and it's a tradition we do as a church and we're so grateful that you could participate with us so if you have the elements please have them readily available they will be uh, done after the message so after the message we will be having communion so that's enough for me without further ado let's hop into worship Greater. Who are greater 
this over your life. Spring. <laughs> Amor mole sauniane tu langa masani ole keke pol falao mole tu se peo na tatu masani ai mole nei sauninga pa ia ole sakara meta Greetings and welcome good morning to our Wellspring family our families and friends and anyone who is able to worship with us this morning in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Ole a tatu ta po yatu ile tua let us worship God Salamo e salau fafitu, foi pu mo mo malelima. Ia oto vivi iatu ileli, awa elele ona fai pesenga ilo tatu otua, awa e mata ngofie e ona lava levi inga, e siri si lava lo tatu oli, e tele lo na malosi, e lem famtalina lo na poto. Psalms 147 verse 1 and 5 NRSV. Praise the Lord, how good it is to sing praises to our God. For he is gracious, and a song of praise is fitting. Great is our Lord, and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. Let us pray. Let us pray. 
Leonsu Samu Muoli ni Masinal Masinal Lunu Duol ni Tau Sanga E mātou te sāu nele li e tā pua i lau fio ma whātou nuina le sākarā meto le whāmana tūnga. E aona mātou sā ili atu i lau fio. Mātou ole i lau fio ngā ngā pa i ai. Se ia e a fio mai ma loto loto i whātasi ma i mātou. Ine i mwhaiana mātou tā pua i atu i lau fio i le ngā ngā ma le whāmaoni. Ma ia i u nei sau ninga le vi i ngō oe le ta mā Malealo, Malianangasa. Our Father, we thank you and we praise you, for you are holy, for you are great, you are awesome in this place. We ask, O Holy Spirit, that you may continue to work in our hearts so that we may worship you this morning in spirit and in truth, glorifying the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is in your name, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and Amen. Ole vi inga ile tua, ole pese wasaudia. Let us praise the Lord by our hint this morning.
Before I lead us in prayer, I am reminded of the words written in Psalm 138, verses 6 through 8. Though the Lord is exalted, he looks kindly on the lowly. Though lofty, he sees them from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you preserve my life. You stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes. With your right hand, you save me. The Lord will vindicate me. Your love, Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hands. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, Holy Spirit, our Helper and our Comforter, we come before you with adoration, praises, and thanksgiving, with love in our hearts, worshiping your holy name. For you are the creator of all things in heaven and on earth. You created us, your people, in your own image. For you made all things perfectly. For you are God that is perfect. You are God that is holy. And you are God that is love. We gather in spirit this morning, hearts filled with gratitude, humbling ourselves before you, our holy God, who deserve our praise, who deserve our respect, and who deserve the honor. For you are marvelous in your ways, amazing, in your love and wonderful in all your deeds for your mighty hand has saved us your mighty hand has protected us and your mighty hand has comforted us for we know apart from you this life is lived in vain this life is meaningless. For you hold our hands, our lives in your mighty hands. For you're the God that saves. You're the God that redeems. And you're the God that shows us unconditional grace and love. We thank you, Lord, for another day that you have blessed us with. As our hearts are open unto you, acknowledging that you are a great God. Acknowledging that you are full of compassion. Acknowledging that you are the source of all that we have received. We thank you, Lord, for leading and guiding us as we went our separate ways and trusted our weak unto you. We thank you, Lord, for you had brought us through, not only last week, but brought us through the night's rest as we rested, awakened, renewed, and refreshed. Here we are gathered to worship you and giving you all of our praise. We thank you, Lord, for this life is impossible apart from you. Thank you for ministering in our hearts by the power of your Holy Spirit, working in and through us, reminding us that we have all that we need in this life, reminding us that you have prepared all things for us and that everything that we need has already been given. We thank you, Lord, for the ways that you work that are beyond our understanding. 
for you see uh, life through love. For you show us this wonderful world that you have created, that you're in total control each and every day of our lives through circumstances and events that happen daily. For your creation witness to your mighty power. So we're so grateful, Lord, to be part of your family. For with you on our side, who can be against us? We have victory, we have life, we have hope, and we have strength. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have blessed us with and more. For you have given us so much, have met every need, have healed our bodies, and continue to renew our strength. You have comforted the broken heart. You have mend those relationships that, you, that are broken. For you are the God of new beginnings. You are God of new life. You are the God that makes everything beautiful. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to worship you on this Sabbath morning. A day that we take time out from our busy schedule to give you our time, to give you our minds and our hearts, to give you all of our worship so that your name may be greatly praised. Thank you for all as well. Our families are all doing good despite many of our families are hurting due to the loss of a loved one. But we know, Lord, that it is times that we are troubled, times that we are faced with sorrow and sadness, that you are closer to us as in the breath of life, that those are times that you remind us that you are with us, that you have never abandoned us, that you have never neglected nor forsaken us. So it's times of tribulations, times of trials, storms, and in the valleys that we see you clearly, that you are God that makes everything good. And we thank you, Lord. Thank you for you are in total control. Despite the realities of this life, facing with many illnesses, the pandemic that we are facing, the change in leadership, the many jobs that have been lost, the work of the essential workers, our calling that you have in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for you know, we know that you provide all things that are necessary for us to continue the fight, to continue the battle on this journey that we are on in this life. We thank you, Lord, for your blessings. Thank you for your wisdom, that we may make wise choices, that we may see life as you see it, Lord. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for meeting all of our needs, not only in our church, in our individual homes, our families, our friends, Thank you for blessing us with so much. Your word that continues to be a light in our path, continues to be words of hope and strength and comfort that strengthens us and helps us in our walk, reminding us that you are a great God, that you are the great I am, that in whatever circumstance, we can do all things because you strengthen us in your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for your Holy Spirit leading and guiding us, helping us in our efforts to strive to be better, to strive to live life with integrity, 
to live life on purpose, to live a faithful life. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your mighty work that only you can do in our lives. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And we're especially grateful, Lord, above all things that we have received, no greater gift of love that was shown through your Son that has given us eternity, has given us hope beyond this life that we have a place waiting for us in heaven with you. And that is our destination. We're only here for a short while just passing through this world. And Lord, whenever that day may be, we are so excited and looking forward to that day to finally see you face to face. We thank you, Jesus, for you have made the impossible possible. You have given us life. No words, no action can ever repay nor express how grateful we are. All we can say is thank you, Lord. Thank you for saving us. And in that spirit, gratitude of thanksgiving, we are shameful to come before you knowing that we are sinners. Acknowledging, Lord, that we have sinned before you, we have sinned before our fellow brothers and sisters, our children, our relationships with one another, how we relate to others. We have failed you, Lord. We have sinned. So we confess, Lord, that we have missed a mark. And we ask and come at the foot of the cross asking for your forgiveness, that may you cleanse us by the precious blood of Jesus and his body that was broken so that we may have forgiveness and that we will be remembering his sacrifice this morning in communion. Remembering the pain and the suffering remembering how much you loved us, that you died for us. That you died a substitutional death so that we may be saved and not be punished and the wrath of God be upon us. Thank you so much. And we ask, O oh Lord, that you renew a right spirit in our, in our hearts not only in our hearts, but in our minds, Lord. Help us to not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds, by the power of the Holy Spirit, cleansing us, renewing us, helping us to conform in your image. And we pray, O oh Lord, that you help us in our weaknesses that may you strengthen us and may you help us to remain steadfast in your love, to remain faithful, to live a life on purpose that is unto you in whatever we do, Lord. May we do it with all of our hearts as unto you and not unto men. That may our lives be a living sacrifice, pour out, for your purposes, for the kingdom. And help us, Lord, that we may trust you and may we seek you each day, that we may trust you in all circumstances. Help us to obey, help us to follow as you lead us by the power of your spirit. And help us, Lord, to be the best disciples that we can be, followers of Christ. But first we must deny ourselves. Deny the lust of the flesh, deny this world and its many temptations. But help us, Lord, to live a victorious life, 
to serve your purposes, to serve you with all of our hearts. That may we give our lives unto you to do as you will. We pray for your blessing upon this ministry, that may you continue to use this ministry for your purposes to reach as many lives so that their lives may be spared, that they may come to know you, Christ, and be saved. We pray for all of our needs, that may you meet every need. Anyone who is joining us in worship today, whatever burdens, whatever sorrows, whatever pains, whatever aches, because of life, broken relationship we pray Lord for your restoration your power that only you can work a mighty work in anyone who is in need of you Lord who is looking for a sign who is looking for an answer who is looking for hope may they come to know you in this very time of worship May you lighten their burdens. May you carry their burdens for them. May you strengthen them, renew their spirits, renew their hearts, renew their hope in you, Father. That you're the answer in any problem in this world. We pray that you meet their needs in a very special way, in a mighty way, Lord, that you know best. And we pray for your comfort upon those who've lost a loved one, Pray for your blessings upon the essential workers, our leaders. May your wisdom be upon them. And may you guide them in their decisions. We pray for all those who are visiting families. We pray for the soldiers who are fighting for world peace. We pray for the missionaries. May you bless the fruits of their labor. And may you work in their hearts and may you strengthen them. We pray, Lord, this week as we go forth in this world, may you help us to live our faith out loud and clear, not only in what we say, but in what we do, so that others may witness you, Lord, in our lives, that you may gain the glory, you may gain the honor in whatever we do. Father, may you direct our path. We pray, Lord, all of this, that not our will, but your will be done. We pray in faith, Father, in your time and in your own way. May all things come to pass according to your will. We thank you, Lord, for this time. We love you so very much. Help us to love you more each day of our life to grow closer to you in our relationship, to be better today than we were yesterday, to strive for perfection as you desire of us. And we thank you, Father, and we love you. And in Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. All scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Ole faita wina to spaia, to si filfilia mailifenga fo, e feso lonam ta upueono, ole a o faita wina mailifoi upuse fulu, se iao o ile foi upuelua se fulu, e feso lonam ta upueono, ole a o faita wina mailifoi upuse fulu, se iao o ile foi upu eluas fulu. Fa afunga maya ile afunga pa iya le atua. O ofu tau fa ale anganga. O usoi, o le toi upu le nei, ia o tau loto te tele ni alii, male ma losi o luna mana. Ia o ofu o tau i ofu tau ato atua mai le atua, ina ia o tau ma faya o na te te atu i tonga fiti ale ti apolo. A wata ato te le tau matangata, a o ali isili, ma fai pule, ma ali i o le po li uli o le nei lalo langi, a toa ma nganga leanga i mea o le langi. O le mea lea ia o tau tango ai i ofu tau ato toa mai lea tua. Ina ia o tau ma faia ai o na tutu ma te te e atu, 
Pea'o o ilea so vale. Pea'a uma fo'i una o tau faya o mea uma tau te tutu maua i lava. O le nei, i nā tutu mauia o tau o fusia o o tau sulu ngā titi i le wha'a māoni. Ia o ofu fo'i o tau i le ufi fata fata o le ami o tonu. Ma ia wha'a se'e vaya ina o o tau vaya i le sauninga o le tala le lei o le file mu. Ia fa'o popo i nā mea uma o na tango atu i le talipupuni o le fa'a tua tua. Tau te mawhai ai o na tinei o uwhana whana mu u malawa a le o lo o le anga. Ma ia o tau awe le pūlo tau o le whaa o na tanga, ma le pelu a le anganga, o le a fionga le a le atua. Ia o tau te talo i le anganga i aso u malawa i talo talonga ma whaa tonga o ma. Ia o tau mata ala pea i le nei lava mea, Ma mātua tau sisi i le whaatonga mō tangata pa ia o malawa. Mō au whoi, i na ia tu i na maile upu i a te au. I na ia o whaa mālosi o na tau tala atu, ma whaailo atu le mea lilo a le tala le lei. O le upu lava ua nō nō ti a i au le sa vali. I na ia o whaa mālosi ai o na tau tala, Pei o na tatau o na ōtau tala atu ai. Our scripture reading is taken from the New Testament. Ephesians chapter 6, I will be reading from verse 10 to verse 20. Ephesians chapter 6, I will be reading from verse 10 to verse 20. Let us hear from the word of God. The armor of God. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's scheme, schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in a spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me that whenever I speak, words may be given me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. Ia whaamanuia mai le tātou whaalongolongo i ana a fiongo pa ia. Ma ia tū mau atu i a te ia lo na lava vi inga. Nei māsa u mai o o le whaavavau, whaavavau lava. Amen. May the Lord bless us in a hearing of his holy word, and may all honor and glory be unto him now and forevermore. Amen. O le pese o saunia, join us in worship.
Ole launga ile swafo ole tul tama malialo malenga ngapo ia amen our meditation in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen ole tatu mutu mo ole tu sile sa tatu fa lo ngolo ngoi leni ta ya e feso lo numta ku ono alo no fui pus sumaltasi ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 is our text for this morning io o fu o to io fu ta u ato to ma ile tu I oto ma faya ona te te atu i tongo fiti al ti apolo. Put on the armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Ole manatu e te te ina ita atu, our theme for this morning. O ofu i le fa atu tua. Dress for faithfulness is our theme for this morning. Ole foi taule nei i le fesum ta apu ono, alun foi pu e se fulu e lus fulu. Olo o lutale fa ape a o. Ofutau mai le tua, the armor of God. O le tua manatu il vayasu mabaya sa fai uile lotu taro sanga fui fui lotu o le lua filu tasi. O le malanga fa tasi malia tua le kalesi a uatasi. E pe no tatu yai ile vai tau le nei o le fivai vai ai o le tatu fenga malo i America nei a mese lava sa tengia ile fenga palo tu mabaya le. Palo tal presidente mal se na te fa pea mal e moto sui Congress. O le fa inga ta ue uiei nei. O le o tau mo fai le tasi tu e pule to o tasi le atu nu e au noa mal e nga lu lue fa tasi. O le fa si o fea o iei le fa a democracy lea. O le fa mai ta tu nga lu lue fa tasi mo le atu nu mo na tangata. Atu nu fo i o le mea fa pea o le o tau i vei le apostolo Paulo i le va i tau i la na nga lu e nga ta lai. Le pule malosi o le emperoa kaisara o le malo Roma. Sa la atu pule sa wai atu nuu o lo la atu pulea. E o ya yu teia ma atu nuu asia. I o lo o fai e le ngalunga ta la ila apostol Paulo. Ana ngalunga fa missionare. E le ngata i le tau la malama mai o le malo Roma. A o le tau la malama o tangata yu teia ma tangata ese. Ia ele o talitonu ile tala lei, leo lo ufolufoleina le apostolo, ma leo fa atu atua. A e hui lea, sa le fa vai vai le apostolo Paulo, ma leo fa atu atua. O atili eno fa amalo, si ai la atou, e fa asu sulu le maam lama, o le tala le lei a Iesu Keriso, e le ngata ya iuta ya, a o atu nuu ese, o lo malanga atu ai le apostolo, ilana malanga fa a missionare. O le whainga tāle nei, o le nei wai tāu i le tātou atu nuu a Amerika nei. Ua mata o na ave ese le mū lawa le atua mai le whainga a mā lō Amerika. O lo omanuia Amerika i le tele o tau sanga ua asa i le rātou mato. Upu ia lo o tonu le o le tupe Amerika. Upu wha apea, in God we trust. O le tātou wha a moe moe ua i le atua. O upu nā o lo ia i le tupe Amerika. O le mātou fu ili nā. O le whaano no anga ua e nisi i le konkeresi, u māna nao, e a ave ese le upu le atua, ma i le fa upunga lea. Ta lo whae pe a o le, pe a tau nu ule atu langa. Journeying together with God, a church in unity, was the theme for last week's prayer services, Fui Fui Lotu 2021. That was a fitting theme to end our prayer services, as we begin to continue our journey with God this year. As I mentioned last week, this country that we live in, the United States of America, it seems more divided now than ever before, maybe with the exception of the Civil War back in the 1860 time of Abraham Lincoln. We as ministers of the Word of God need to keep our congregation focused on, on who? On Jesus Christ, who is our only hope for unity in our families, our church, in our communities. Focus on Jesus. We need to remember the word of God supersedes whatever corrupt law that our government may try to impose on us. Our authority is from God's word in the Bible. We respect the government and its rules if they conform to what? To the word of God. That is why the apostles and many early believers were persecuted because they, what, they valued God's word more than man, more than people. We are reminded in our passage today that we need what the armor of God when we are faced with issues and problems in our daily lives. For some people like myself, 
when there is a conflict at home, at work, or even at church meetings, I would just get up and leave. I did that a few times at our church here at Well Springs while I was a deacon. Matayawa Pinerga was the pastor at the time, and the late Tuman Vaivasinga was our moderator. Whenever there was an argument, things started to get heated in our meetings, I, would just, I just got up and left. At the time, I thought I was doing everybody a favor by leaving because I had a temper and didn't want to do or say something I might regret. Well, unknown to me, everyone saw how much I disrespected not only our pastor, but our church board by leaving instead of showing patience in the midst of the conflicts. I am reminded that if I, if I still had this problem while, while attending Kananafo Theological Seminary, I would have never made it through uh, the seminary. I would have failed. But thank you, Jesus, for giving me that armor that this passage is teaching us that I needed to overcome. That was just part of the journey. Being a follower of Christ requires us to continue to put on the armor daily. We are not talking about a physical armor that is needed to prepare for a fight or a battle or even putting on a football equipment to play on the field. Today, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers play in Super Bowl 55 for the championship. The championship that the Chiefs won last year against the 49ers in Super Bowl 54. Football is a team sport like no other sport. Without each player executing their role, whether on defense, on offense, almost perfectly, your team will not be able to win. It, usually, it is usually the team that makes the less mistakes usually wins the game. Putting on the football equipment is important to make sure that you are protected from getting injured. Injuries can also be a big part in the team's winning or losing the game. When we won the American Samoa High School Football Championship in 1985, the second year of the four straight championship seasons the Leone Lions, Leone Lions, High School Lions had, we lacked football equipment. Not enough football helmets. We didn't have enough new jerseys, football jerseys. So we recycled some of the old jerseys that we could get. We would cut slippers for the ear pads in our helmets, uh, ear lava lavas and socks, to, you know, we tied on our shoulder pads to make it thicker for protection. We were using equipment that were probably five, ten years or more that were outdated, old. I'm sure we were not the only team that lacked equipment at the time. So we were on an even, even playing field with the other teams. Uh, so nobody had an excuse saying that, oh, you won because of all this. No, we were all the same. So glad to hear now that there is enough equipment to go around in the American Samoa High School football. As we prepare for these battles, whether in sports or in physical battles, we put on equipment to help us in the physical battle to be protected and to succeed. More importantly than the physical is spiritual battle that we will face daily in our lives. And the Apostle Paul, he knew that we need spiritual armor for us to succeed in this spiritual warfare that we face each and every day. Many times we have failed because of what we have not put on that armor. Just like the physical equipment we need to fight the battle, you know, we will fail if we do not put on the armor. We will be defeated. If you don't want to stay defeated, listen. Listen to the Apostle Paul in his instructions. Paul is instructing us to, in order for us to be victorious, we need to, to suit up. That is invisible shield to protect us from the world and its evil and wicked ways. Wouldn't it be great if we could get up every morning and put on a special suit that would protect us and our families from the evil and the wickedness of this world? Well, we may not have a physical suit of armor, but Paul describes spiritual armor that is des designed 
just for that purpose. The word tells us to dress for success, or the world tells us to dress for success. But listen to how Paul tells us, dress for faithfulness. There are three things we need to dress for faithfulness, and they are, number one, defense, number two, offense, and number three, presence. Ele fa ale tino le ofulea e tau tala ele aposolo Paulo ae fa ale nanga. Fa e mei lalo ang e oto o ofu ele manuia ele va ainga tangata. E manuia e maanea ula e mai au le lei mai au te unga. Fa e mei le tato o tusi fa e tau ele e oto o ofu ele ofu tau fa ale nanga o le fa atu o tua. E tolo mea au ne tato e loa ele ofu tau o le fa atu o tua. Mo moa o le defense au penga e pui pui ai. Lona lua o le offense, au penga e faonga. Malona tolu o le presence, ah, ma futa mai, ma futanga, malia tua il tarusanga. Number one, defense, au penga e pui pui. First, let us look at defense. Most of the articles in the armor of God are for defensive purposes. The Apostle Paul used the example of the soldier to explain his point something the early Christians were well aware of at the time. The armor used was to protect the soldier. Soldiers were feared and hated, so they were concerned about that kind of protection that they needed in everyday life. We have computer firewalls and antivirus software to keep us from getting our important information stolen and to stop malicious infections from wicked people who simply want to cause harm and problems for us and others. We have security systems in our homes and cars. We have fire alarms and rain gear. We get vaccinations from diseases, especially today with the COVID-19. We protect our eyes with sunglasses. We have metal detectors at schools and airports. 9-11 has made us alert and defensive for we uh, we, do, we know that the enemy is still out there, seeking ways to attack, to attack us as people and as a nation. All of these things are defense. They are there to protect us. Paul says we should protect ourselves spiritually uh, by daily putting on what? The armor of God. Uh, Defensive. And offensive weapon. Offensive the armor of God or defense. The first defense, um, the armor, the belt of truth. The Roman soldier's uh, armor, the belt protected the midsection from the waist to the knees. It was considered fighting dirty to strike in that area. But because fighting was fierce and dirty, some protection had to be developed. Soldiers didn't go into the battle wearing their something that looked like skirts because it was fashionable. The leather and the metal strips of the belt were for protection. God has crafted the finest and strongest spiritual armor in the world. And one of the best pieces of this armor may be the smallest and simplest, the belt of truth. 
one of the best defenses we have against the, de- the, the, uh, the devil, which distorts everything, is truth. Consequently, the best witness is to live truthfully and faithfully. We are called to live a life of integrity. Gird yourselves with the belt of truth. Number two, the breastplate of righteousness. The breastplate was designed to protect vital organs, especially the heart and lungs. For us, the spiritual armor protects the vital center of our, vital center of our faith, the heart of our faith, which is righteousness. Or simply right living. Being righteous is simply to be faithful. Being faithful always asks, will you, what will, you, will I do to please my God? Many of us Christians have fallen by the wayside because we let corruption enter in. We let unrighteous thoughts and desires enter into our hearts and our minds. Or we go back and pick up the garbage left at the foot of the cross of Jesus and it re-enters into our lives. In order for us not to look back and to continue in our old sinful lives, we must put on what the breastplate of righteousness and live faithfully. Number three, shoes. For me, for I have to say that 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 I think it's interesting that Paul says, put on whatever shoes that work for you. Put on whatever shoes that will fulfill your purpose and my purpose, which is to spread the good news of the peace of Christ. Isn't it kind of odd and ironic, ironic that Paul talks about the peace of Christ in the midst of military analogy. Paul knew that the peace of Christ is different from the peace of the world. The peace of Christ is an inner peace, a spiritual peace. When we have that peace, we can proclaim Jesus Christ. The good news lives in us, through us. We need to choose whatever shoe is comfortable and fitting that helps us to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter if, if it's running shoes, basketball or football shoes, work boots, flip-flops, sandals, dress shoes. Every person in every profession can witness to the peace of Christ through being faithful. Number four, number five, the shield of faith. The shield protected the soldiers from arrows, from rocks, and darts. The shield of faith protects us from the flaming arrows of doubts caused by misfortune or calamity of sin or the sin of another. The shield of faith reminds us that God promised to be with us even till the end of of the time. God never backs out of a promise. 
Number five, the helmet of salvation. We all know that helmets, uh, what, what, are the, their, what are the helmets for? It helps to protect the head. Likewise, helmet of salvation is there to protect our minds. Our minds are both the strongest and the most vulnerable part of our faith because we can talk ourselves into anything. Uh, the more we talk negatively, that's how we become. We become negative. The more we talk about uh, to be of joyful things and positive things, we become positive people. Uh, so our mind controls us. We can justify nearly anything or any action if we try in hard enough. We fool ourselves all the time. That's why we need the helmet of salvation to protect our minds from distraction and discouragement. Put on the helmet of salvation. Those five pieces of the armor of God are for defense. Uh, defensive purposes. Number two, offense. Uh, I think it's interesting that Paul only lists one piece of offensive equipment. Uh, out of these six, one is offensive. The sword of the Spirit. He says the word, what he says is the word of God. The word of God. The only weapon, so to speak, which, have, that which we have available to us is the spiritual armor of God. Is the sword of the Spirit or the scriptures. The Word of God. Through the Word of God, the Spirit convicts. Through the Word of God, God can and does change hearts. Look at Jesus' example. When Jesus was tempted in the wilderness, each time Satan tempted him, he responded with the exact same answer. It is written. You see, evil can't stand, stand up to the word of God. And when you have the word of God, I mean, we have God's word hidden in your heart and in your head through study, it, it bubbles up when you need it the most. The Apostle Paul is telling us that we will face many spiritual battles and we will be attacked constantly. What we need is, is to defend ourselves with these five defensive weapons. These five offensive weapons will teach us to be patient uh, and we will have humility. Once we find the confidence in the Word of God, which is our only offensive weapon, the sword of the Spirit. The sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, is so powerful, we can always defeat the enemy by this weapon. Plan a good offense by what? Reading and studying the Word of God daily. Uh, presence. You got offense, defense, presence. Mafutanga. The purpose of the armor of God is to keep you ready, ready to work, ready to work, to do the work of a soldier of Jesus Christ. And that work is very simple. It is frontline battle work. It is hard work. It takes stamina, willpower. It takes focus and a warrior's heart. What I'm talking about is what is prayer. You and I are called to what? To kneel in the very presence of God, to lift one another in prayer, making supplication for one another. Prayer, it brings us into the very presence of God. It doesn't bring us, you know, to become arrogant, but in all humility because we have been invited there. So when we go before the Lord in prayer, we don't feel uh, that it, we are this and that. We feel the humility of being in God's presence. We honor and we praise God. And once there, God wants to know everything that's in our hearts and in our minds. 
about everyone we know and love. You see, God wants to know everything about us if we are in his presence in prayer. Uh, So first, defense. Second, offense. Third, uh, presence in prayer. You and I have been called to dress for faithfulness. We are called to live a life that is pleasing to God in all that we do. You see, Jesus, he did not die on the cross so that you can be successful in worldly standards. Jesus died on the cross because of our sin. Because we couldn't be faithful. God doesn't want us to pursue the worldly success. For Jesus said, why is it that we will gain the world and lose our soul? Uh, So focus. Uh, God wants us to pursue faithfulness, even in the midst of what is happening in the world. Remain faithful to him. Remember the defense that we need. Remember that we need the, the belt of, of truth. We need the breastplate of righteousness. We need shoes that will prepare us to proclaim the gospel of peace. We need the shield of faith. We need the helmet of salvation. We of all the see, there's five defense and only one offense. Why? It's because the power. It is not that we don't need these, the defense. We need the defense. The, de- the, 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 the Lord, God knows that we will be attacked. We're supposed to put on the whole armor of God. And especially that last one. Uh, the sword of the Spirit. The Word of God. That is what God requires of us. And of course, to be in His presence. When we have... Uh, Jesus, Jesus gave his life so that we may have eternal life. As we prepare to partake in the communion this morning, remember, it is not easy. When you accept Jesus Christ into your hearts, you declare, Jesus, you are my Lord and my Savior, it will not be easy. We need to defend ourselves. We need the armor of God. Uh, We need these uh, defenses that we need uh, to protect us, to help us, and then we need the Word of God. We need the Word of God to defeat the devil. And the only way for us to defeat the devil and, and his wickedness is that we must fill ourselves with his word. We must go before him in, in his, into his presence in prayer. We will be able to succeed and we will be doing the will of God. That is the will of God, to follow his instructions, to live our faith, to uh, put on the armor each and every day. It's the only way we can overcome and we can defeat Uh, the wickedness of this world that surrounds us. We need to do it because Christ loved us so much that he gave his life for you and me. He died on the cross of Calvary that we are about to partake in the communion this morning so that we may be able to have everlasting life. So I'd like to invite you to say this prayer after me. If you want to renew that commitment to Christ, if you want to accept Jesus into your heart, I would invite you to pray this prayer. 
Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior, I come before you humbly, O Lord, acknowledging that I am a sinner. I ask that you please forgive me, O Lord. Cleanse me as I repent before you by your blood, Jesus Christ, that was flowed upon the cross at Calvary for the forgiveness of my sins, so that I may be renewed, O Lord, and restored, so that I may receive your salvation. As I declare today, O Lord, that you are my Lord, you are my Savior, as I follow you today and always. Thank you so much, Jesus. It is in your name I pray. Amen and amen. Ole sauninga ole famanatunga, the sacrament of communion. Le ausoi, watato poto poto mai faalongo ile afiongo pa ia le atua, ma wai le maafutanga ole tino ma le toto ole tato oli. Ole mea lea, i mumu lava na tato sue sue ifo ya i tato lava, ma saa ili le lofa tu no ole atua, ina i ama faiona tato tu e faalata la tato ya te ia, ile salamo ma le faatu atua. Ole a tato faatu ese, Mala fa amau lalo ile atu asirisi ese ile tatalo ini eto e tatu tu e fa adile maia e ana ile tatu ali o Yesu Kristo o le tatu tatalo foi mole fa pa ia ina o le lau ai mole sakara meta o le fa manetunga le atu alo fa umato o atu yo luma ile ava man minga o tatawai. O mato o talitono o le liio e mato o le faanau o tumu i le sese ma le angasala e o luma. E ao no mato o atu ai ma le faamau lalo ma le loto o salamo. E a lava se me o mato o faia le liio o le tu sai ma le o finangalo pa ia. O mato o leu le liio se ia lofa ma faama maam faamangalo i mato. E a lai le tino ma le toto pa ia o Yesu Kiriso o mato o lii ma le mato o fao. Ta lia mai lo mātou whātou e senga le li ie, mātou te ta lia ina lo whāou la tanga i Yesu, o e o fuina mai mo i mātou. Ina i mātou la ina, la upu, mātou la ina, le whāou la tanga, le ua umana e saunia. O nea mātou sauni le li ie vang vangaia lo lao ai pa ia, e ala i le ne sauni nga pa ia, e sākara meta o le whamanatu, o mātou te manatu ai pea la ufio, a mese lo lo fatu noa mo i mātou. I lo maliu mo lo falava au i lungo le sātau. Mātou mou ai le ola e fa va uasa e tui tū manu mālo. Mātou te vi ia mfa amanui na i lau la wāwhio. Mātou te tālo i fa penana e fa apa ia i le nena o ai. Le fa atusa o lo tino pa ia. I a mese fo il fa atusa o lo toto sa a fa amalingina i lungo le sātau. Ina ia whaama ma whaama ngā lo i mātou. I mātou ta lia ina ma lia ngā ngā whaaftai le li ie. Ia mea lofa ua e fo ina mai mo i mātou i le nei tai au. Ma i mātou mana tūa i pea. Lou lava a lofa tū noa. Nei māso uma lava yo o ili whaavau. Whaavau lava. Amen. For in the night of betrayal, Jesus took the bread and after giving thanks to you, broke the bread and gave it to the disciples and said, Take and eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, Jesus took the cup and after giving thanks, gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is poured out for you and many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The gifts of God for the people of God, take them in remembrance that Christ died and was raised for you. Ina tango ia ina ai, le tino le neo keriso uo tofi tofi mo oto, i o to faya le nei mea ma fa amana tunga ia te ia. Take and eat. This is the body of Christ, which is given for you.
Ole ipule nei le fenga i folia i le toto i Jesu. Ua fa malingi na mo le fa manga lo ino anga sala. I oto fa i le nei mea ma fa mana tunga i ate i. Take and drink. This is the cup of the new covenant poured out for you. Let us continue in prayer. We are so grateful, Lord, as we partake in this wonderful sacrament of communion, so that we may remember all that you have done for us because of your unconditional love your grace upon each and every one of us. We are thankful, Lord, that you have offered your one and only Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior for us, that we may accept your gift and love, that, that we may receive your salvation. We thank you so much for this day. We thank you for this sacrament May your name be praised and glorified today and always. Fafta itile le li ye yesu ile nei fa manatunga le sakaramito le fa manatunga matu fa manatuina ile nei lavatayao matu te vi ia la ufio wa oya imato e manatu mayai na e tau aveino matu wanga sala ilungo le sateru. In a year, Fama Mamma Alo Imato, Mimato Moa Leola Fam Vau, Eala Ile Salomo Moni Malefatu, Tua Ilao Fio, Faf Taile Li Iomato, Oli Oli, Ilo Lava Fauletanga, Amata Mailenea, so Maso Umalava, Yamato Manatua Li Ie, Laulava Fio, and Messe Leneta Ulanga Lofa, Saifaya Moimato, Yamato Laina Lo Upule Li Iemalo Fauletanga. Ia fai mātou ma lā mepa e susudu atu mō so o se tasi o lo fia moua lo fe so so ani ai mese lo fa ala tanga le li ie. Fa a fatai tele, o no Iesu leo mātou ole mala o tuai nei. Amene, ma amene. Ole anta atu tue vivi i atu ile atua ile pese.
Natulengang of Aftai, Yato to Uma, the tattoo Kalisili will spring. A missy foy or to Uma Sam Fernatatu tapo if I tassi, a lungo pen out of a lang. Were fast a full malefitu ne, as saw tattoo fear let to lang, Dalu Lenefa my Covitis Luiva, or Fiai, the tattoo Lenatel tattoo nu, a missy little long yatua. If after Yatu, uh, Il tato e kalesia, mese fo il tato sauninga o le sakara meta o le famanatunga sa fato nuina le ne taiao. Ma lolo le nusai, fa tai fa apal pale, ta tonu ua lata mai fo il aso e ma fa ina tato tu e fa tasi, ma ta po e fa tasi tu tonu le tato fa le ta po e nei. Thank you everyone for worshiping with us this morning and also for the sacrament of communion that we have uh, observed today on the first Sunday of the month. Uh, may the Lord be praised. Thank you so much. May God bless you as you go forth. Um, and also, again, thank you to the uh, choir and also the praise team for the beautiful worship songs and also the hymns that were sung today. May God bless. Thank you. Also, thank you to uh, the Faletua Omai for the decorations, the flowers, uh, as you see here, and also for the preparation of the sacrament of communion. Thank you also for representing us in our prayers this morning, as well as the reading of the scriptures. God bless. Thank you. Also, again, I uh, thank uh, our tech uh, person, uh, Sana Sunia, along with the uh, help of his uh, assistant, Henry Aching, as they are able to make this possible for us to worship online for the past 47 Sundays. So may God be praised by all that you do. Thank you so much. Also again, Faftayatu Litato Tate Fono, Yamunga Lunga Fai, Ya Ilumo Tato Funone, Maintenance or Nefanua, Lotato or Tato Kalesia, Faftai, Famalo, Famalo to Foile, Teutupe, Munga Lunga, Fai Fai Pea, Eleva Yasu, Maleva Yasu, Famo Poina. Le sereni pa ia le kalesia, o ame fai ia le tatu e kalesia, fa malo fa aftai. Aftai tu foi le tatu fai leu tusi, o le kalesia, ia mo le folofloina o tatu taulanga, ma me fai ia le tatu e kalesia, ia fa manuia le tua. Let us end our worship in prayer. O le a tatu fai u le neisa u ninga i le tetalo. Ia tu ma mai o mato lunga ma lunga o la fana u fa atu tua le lalangi a tua. Le alofa, sili sili esse o le tamá, ma le alo, ma le anga pa ia. May the grace of God the Father, the love of Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of God's people here and throughout the world. Amen.